What up humans? Karumi here, and welcome to our tips, tricks, and guide video. In this video, we are going to show you tips and tricks for Atlas. But if you guys are interested on watching the complete guide, just search for Toy Traveler Boot Camp Atlas on the search bar. Anyway, let's proceed. Set first skill to max level first. Prioritizing this makes the base damage of this skill higher and the cooldown lower. That means the enemy will be receiving more damage from this skill. Prioritize second skill as its first skill is what you need for damage dealing. Always upgrade your ultimate skill when available for upgrading. Atlas's passive skill is what you need to slow down enemies and make them durable. Each time he uses a skill, frigid breath is generated. Enemies inside the area of effect have their movement and attack speed reduced. So while Frigid Breath is generated, make sure to be beside most enemies. The attack speed reduction debuff is really good especially against marksman heroes. Also, the physical and magic defense bonus while in the area of effect makes you more durable. Having this huge amount of defense bonus is almost equivalent to two defense items. So this makes Atlas the one most durable tank heroes even on early game. Atlas's first skill is what you need to deal area of effect damage. This will deal 3 explosions outwards that will cause magic damage. His second skill grants him to be on ejected state. While ejected, both his true form and the mecha will cast this skill when used. For the Kurumi way, we cast this skill when our true form and our mecha is beside the target. This will definitely maximize the damage output. Atlas's second skill is what you need to get inside team fights as swiftly as possible. Using this skill will make his true form eject from his mecha. The movement speed of his true form is boosted, so it will definitely make you charge towards the center of team fight faster. Also, you can use flicker while ejected just in case you want initiate team fight with escaping enemies. Using flicker will make the mecha flicker as well. The initial dash can make his true form pass through an obstacle which is a good thing to escape death. Both of the true form and mecha receives the same damage, so if the enemies kill your mecha, you will die as well because you share the same health points bar. Another thing about your second skill is you can use this to escape your death. We will show you on our experiments what will happen when enemies crowd control the mecha while ejected. Atlas's ultimate skill is what you need to crowd control most of the enemies. Using this skill will hurl chains to enemies nearby and have their movement speed reduced. With the frigid breath from your passive the enemies will be slowed more than they can imagine. Holding this skills button will make you drag the skill towards a specified location. When you drag the skill towards a specified location, Atlas will be dragging the chained enemies with him to hell. It's like doing a wrestling finishing move but with lots of enemies. This is especially good when you have another hero in your team with great crowd control area of effect like Tigrail. Your combo will feel like you're both doing your part to deliver fresh food to your customers at a time. When in ejected state, clicking this skill will automatically make the mecha merge with his true form. As we said earlier, their merging will stun enemies nearby. So it's really good to have the enemies stunned while you decide on which area you will drag the enemies to. Take note that enemies would be able to escape your chains when they get out of the area of effect. So better drag them to hell while they are stunned by your merge with your mecha. Lastly, the more you hold the channeling, the farther the distance you can drag the enemies. Here we go again with our experiments. We are going to test our skills against other heroes that could either greatly counter Atlas or heroes that can't counter Atlas. First, let's have Eudora. We have our health bar low to make sure that Raki's skills could kill us. Let's test if he can kill us when he deals damage to our mecha. As you can see, with the frigid breath defense boost and the damage reduction while on ejected state, it's like Raki is just tickling our funny bones. But definitely, this means that any damage dealt to the mecha will also be dealt to you. How about let's try if Eudora could cancel the channeling of our ultimate skill with her stun. As you can see, we still drag Eudora to hell. 
Next, we have Kufra. On the description, they said that knock airborne effects could cancel the channeling of this skill. Let's prove that wrong. As you can see, Kufra's first skill wasn't able to knock us up and also wasn't able to cancel our channeling. Now I wonder what skills could cancel Atlas's channeling. How about let's try to dash towards Kufra's second skill. His second skill doesn't allow heroes using dash or flying skills. As you can see, we were able to pass through his bouncing baby ball. Now, let's have Minsither. Let's see if we can dash out of Minsither's ultimate skill. As you can see, we can't even cast our second skill while well in the area of effect of his ultimate skill. How about on Sylvana's ultimate skill? As you can see, our mecha was left inside the area of effect and could be killed anytime. But after a few while, we retrieved back our mecha just like nothing happened. This feels like Atlas skin she death somehow. Next up we have our favorite hero to test with, Gord. Let's see if we can now cancel Gord's ultimate skill. As you can see, we were able to cancel Gord's ultimate skill. I was really expecting Gord to skill channel his ultimate even drag to hell. But I feel relieved now that I know that Gord's ultimate skill can still be cancelled. Now let's try our ultimate skill against heroes that has Purify. Let's see if Gord uses Purify while airborne. As you can see, Gord was still dragged with us even if he used Purify while mid-air. Now let's try if he uses Purify before we drag him to hell. As you can see, he was able to be immune from our ultimate skill. Now, let's have Franco. Let's see if Franco's ultimate skill can cancel our channeling. As you can see, Franco's ultimate skill cancelled our channeling. How about if he uses his ultimate skill on our mecha? As you can see, he was able to suppress our mecha, but after a few moments, our mecha just did an instant transmission towards us. This ejected state is really unfair at the moment. How about let's try it against Kaja's ultimate skill. As you can see, the mecha was immune to Kaja's ultimate skill. It's just like nothing happened. How about Kaja's ultimate skill against our ultimate skill? Will Kaja be able to cancel it? As you can see, it didn't even move as an inch. Now, let's try if Johnson could ride either our true form or our mecha. As you can see, Johnson wasn't able to ride our mecha. How about our true form? As you can see, he also didn't allow us to ride him. Probably he is practicing social distancing because of the virus crisis at the moment. Yeah. Lastly, we have Diggy. We all know Diggy's ultimate skill removes effects and makes his teammates immune from crowd control nearby him. Let's see if we can still drag Diggy to hell. As you can see, we weren't able to drag him towards the area and he wasn't chained as well. So far in all these experiments, the successful counter against Atlas would be Diggy and Franco. In terms of his combo, we can share some combos you can use. For the combo to do lots of damage to enemies while not having your ultimate skill, you can follow this combo. First, use your second skill to eject. Then you can deal basic attacks with your true form while waiting for your mecha. Then make sure you walk ahead your target. Then when the mecha and your true form is beside the target, use your first skill. Remember that your mecha and true form will both cast your first skill, so this combo pretty utilizes the damage output of your skills. Now let's have the combo when you have your ultimate skill. First, use your second skill to eject. Then you can use flicker if you really need to get to the location as soon as possible. Then when you are now beside lots of enemies, use your ultimate skill. This will let your mecha and your true form merge stunning enemies nearby. Then, channel your inner wrestler by holding on your ultimate skill, while holding aim to the position you want to do your finishing move to your enemies. Then, slam that tombstone pile driver move. Then, use your first skill to deal explosive damage. It's actually perfect because they will be trying to escape. Perfect for the outward explosion your first skill will deal. Then, I think your teammates will now do the rest while the enemies are crowd controlled. Additional tip, I know you are curious if flicker during the finishing move will work. Well, we tried it for you. Let's see if that will work. As you can see, it didn't definitely work. You can't use flicker while airborne. It will just be used right after you land. So I hope that answers your questions with how flexible Atlas is. Another tip, you might be wondering if why we recommended Cursed Helmet. Well, it's because this item's effect is being used by your true form and your mecha. So I think the effect of this helmet will be utilized somehow every time you use your second skill. The tips I mentioned are just some of the ways you can use Atlas. 
This video just guides you on how to use Atlas, the Kurumi way. We would like to thank our Wakandian brother, Rakuten, for being our lab rat for this boot camp. You can search for him in-game and tell him how much you appreciate him, willing to sacrifice his pride and honor to be a test subject. Do not forget to like and share this video. Also subscribe to our channel for more contents by clicking on the subscribe and bell button. For our skin giveaway events, check out the community tab for the giveaway event post. We have our coffee account just in case you wanna donate us some coffee funds. Check our coffee link on the description of this video. Please only trust bootcamp videos from our official accounts. See you on the next Mobile Legends bootcamp. Cheers.